CBSE 2025 boards are coming near and one of the most ignored subject by most of the students is computer science the fifth subject but know this if you mess up this paper then it will impact your overall grades and you don't want yourself in a position where you have cracked physics chemistry mathematics and english but due to lack of attention you messed up computer science subject so that's why in this video even if you have not prepared anything for your computer science examination i have lavanya who have scored 100 by 100 in his computer science examination within just two months of preparation so he will be guiding you on how you can get 100 by 100 so make sure you watch this video until the very end so without any further ado let's shift our cameras to lavanya hello Anya. hello bhaiya so our viewers are preparing for uh, computer science examination and uh, they need a 100 by 100 strategy. So over to you. Namaskaram to all the viewers. I am Lavanya Soni. Before discussing anything, let's first discuss some important topics. First of all, scoring good marks 95 or 100 in CS is not that tough, provided you take a structured approach to learning. Secondly, all the JE and advanced stoppers choose CS as their choice of branch and they end up learning the exact same thing which you may have been ignoring in your CS. Lastly, almost everything around us leverages computer science. Be it from mechanical engineering to biotechnology to civil, everything is done on computers. So, you should study CS not to just get marks, but to build a strong foundation before you start college. Don't study just for the sake of marks, rather spend time trying to build concepts and if you do that, Trust me, scoring good marks will not be that tough for you. That was cool, Lavanya. Yeah? So before we deep dive into the overall strategy, here is the structure of the video and you can also find timestamps by which you can go around the video. And with that, let's start this video by understanding the paper pattern of computer science. Over to you. The marks distribution is as follows. 30 marks is for your practical and 70 marks is from the theory paper which you will write in your board examination. And those 70 marks are broken down into three segments. First, Computational thinking and programming, 40 marks. Then database management system, 20 marks. And lastly, computer networking, 10 marks. Here you can see the overall paper pattern of your examination. Now, as we have discussed the paper pattern, let's deep dive into the subject by strategy. That is the 70 marks breakdown. Over to use. Before that, I want to discuss three tips on overall prep strategy. Number first, please pay attention to this. Please study your syllabus. Don't ignore it. There will be many things which are in your book but are not in your board examination. Like when you don't even know what to study, how can you possibly study? Second tip is that a lot of people take CS very lightly. Please don't leave CS for the last minute. Get your concepts clear as quick as possible so that the last minute revision is easier. Please take note, you also have JE and other exams to prepare for. So instead of putting CS for the last minute, you can prepare in advance so that in the end you just need to revise and brush up your concepts. Lastly, the syntax is very important. If you even add one comma or full stop extra, it may be wrong, be it SQL or Python. Don't mess up the syntax and be extra careful about it. Also, you are writing your Python codes in your copy, so please pay extra attention to indentation. If you are not following proper indentation, it may mean entirely something different and you will be penalized for it. So please make sure you are writing codes with proper indentation. As for SQL, you may need to take short notes for syntax and top asked SQL queries like create table, delete table, add columns, insert rows. Here is an example between correct syntax and incorrect syntax. And as you can see, a comma tumhari puri zindagi bigaad sakta hai. Let's start with Python first. Before starting, let's first understand what it is. Python is just like English or Hindi. But the only difference is that it is used to communicate with computers. Languages like Python, Java or others are used to build cool websites, apps or other cool things. If you are watching this video on YouTube, it is a result of thousands of lines of code written by various programmers. Please note, in college, irrespective of branch you are in, you will be required to do some kind of programming. And if you study this well, it will not only help you in your boards, but will also help you in your career. Before discussing the basic strategy, I would highly recommend you not to study from NCRT. As in my time, there were some topics which were in the syllabus, but were not in the NCRT. Plus the theory part in NCRT is not sufficient for the questions asked in the board examination. Uh, you can use a reference like CS with Python by Sumita Arora. Now let's get started with the basic strategy. First of all, don't think that if you have not studied Python in your class 11th, you can't study it in your 12th. It's nothing like that. Even I didn't study Python in my class 11th. 
what you all guys can do is that you can study chapters like revision tour of python from any reference book of your choice as these chapters include all the important topics discussed in the previous class but suppose if you are a rookie and lacks even the basic knowledge about the python programs don't worry you can just go to youtube and search basic python programs tutorial or something like that and get done with it because important topics like data types string manipulation loops ye sare concepts to aane hi chahiye after revising and understanding your paper pattern move to the questions which you have jotted down and practice as many questions as you can because the theory part is easy but building the logic around your syntax and code is the main part pay more attention to high weighted chapters like file handling and data structures for data structures you can start with the basics like queues and stacks the questions for data structure may not be hard but knowing the concepts will help you in the future now let's see some questions regarding those high weighted chapter this first question is from data structures and the second question is from file handling trust me these question are not of that type where you can just memorize the code and write it without knowing the proper concept you can't answer them so please practice accordingly other than those we majorly have very few types of python questions which includes fill the missing code error spotting what will be the output assertion and reason and lastly write a program question trust me these questions are very easy yet they are the black hole of marks for most of the students because these questions require pure concept which are neglected by many students please i am once again saying this don't memorize code build your concept and logic you must be wondering i am saying build your concept build your logic but python has so many code syntax and programs and how can you build your concept and logic for that i built a technique which i call it as summarizing technique in this technique you just have to make small small projects regarding the questions which you are studying for example i made a student management system which helped me to clear my concept regarding integration of sql with python so you just have to make small projects and solve them but suppose if you don't have time to build those small projects what can you do don't worry just solve as many question as possible from the sample question papers or pyqs because in cs the structure of paper is very repetitive and the questions are also very repetitive now we are done with the python and uh, one note for you all guys make sure whatever is being told in this video you note it down somewhere and paste it somewhere in your room so that whenever you are starting your cs preparation you can just go through it and follow carefully and with that if you are also liking this video make sure you like this video and also subscribe to our channel now let's move to the next section lavanya over to you now let's start with dbms another topic which has a lot of weightage before we start the strategy to learn and crack dbms first let's understand the importance of it for example many of you must be using instagram right have you ever wondered how instagram is storing you all your names emails pictures etc these all are stored in a database and to learn how to create and manage these databases we are learning dbms which stands for database management system and under this topic we are learning mysql which is one of the many databases out there i know dbms might be new for you but its strategy is kind of similar to python in certain ways first of all focus on your syntax as i discussed earlier one comma here and there and it will mess up your command focus on concepts rather than memorizing stuffs for example data alteration commands create alter drop these are super important you must know what are they doing and how they are modifying your table best way to learn is to practice questions and to do that install mysql in your system and start playing with the commands but what if you don't have a system don't worry just go to youtube and watch mysql lectures and trust me you will understand everything as mysql commands are very simple to understand as for the theory part here you can rely on your ncrt as it has all the necessary topics with nice examples listed under them let's see some questions in the first question you can see you have been given two tables and you need to perform various different queries on those tables on the other hand in the second question you just need to write a simple sql command and yes dbms questions are like that only 
where you will get questions having simple answers like writing the command or query and questions where you need to have in-depth knowledge of table manipulation. Now let's move on to our last section, networking. Networking is a very important part in this modern computing system. The internet is very large, very complex network where each device is communicating with each other. So networking is a very important topic. For example, you must be connected to your router to use your Wi-Fi, right? So networking plays a very big role in letting devices communicate with each other. As for the resources part, I would suggest to follow your reference book or use the internet because you have to jot down many points and make short notes for various different topics. I know networking is very lengthy and theoretical, but trust me, networking is the easiest part. You don't need to memorize paragraphs and paragraphs of content. You just need to understand that topic and you must be able to write at least four to five points regarding that topic. For example, you got a question, differentiate between HTML and XML. And here is the answer from the official CBSC marking scheme. And as you can see, it doesn't have any paragraph describing it. It just only has full forms and small, small points describing that topic. For some reason, you are unable to remember the concept and have a fair idea of what the diagram looks like, feel free to draw them. In board examination, you will get marks for that process also. Remember not to leave any answer blank as there is no negative marking. Even if you don't remember, at least attempt so that chances of getting marks increases. For example, if you are asked to write the difference between optical fiber cable and coaxial cable, but you don't remember the points or if you think your answer is insufficient, feel free to draw these diagrams as it will create a good impression. And even if you know the answer, try to draw as many diagrams as possible. By the way, let me show you an interesting question which will definitely come in your exam. Yes, this gigantic and horrifying question. But trust me, it is the easiest question out there. As when you will solve this question, you can see it has only one word as the answer for every sub question it has. Now that we have done with the section wise strategy, you have to implement this while you are giving your examination also. Because even if you prepare so much harder and uh, you won't perform well in the 3 hours duration of your examination, your hard work is all vain. Now here are some final advices from Lavan so that you can get that 100 by 100 in your computer science. Over to you Lavan. Now let's start with paper attempt strategy. There is no particular paper attempt strategy for CS, but please make sure you are not jumbling the questions. Attempt it section wise. As for me, I got done with the MCQs first and then followed sections as it is. Also, try to keep it simple as we don't want the examiner to get confused. Now let's talk about what we discussed at the starting. You should write your answer properly as you are writing python codes and sql commands on paper you should write them with proper indentation with proper case also take account of that you are getting many pages in your answer sheet try to give more spaces between your questions and try to write every program in a new page another thing to be wary of is what the question is asking it's very important before attempting any question you should first understand what the question is asking for example if the question is asking you to write a Python function, then write the function only. There's no need to write the whole Python program. And this goes same for every other question. And lastly, don't panic. And also don't take the subject lightly. Otherwise, it will impact your board significantly. Thank you, Lavanya. Thank you, this awesome strategy. And uh, a note for you guys, as we have already mentioned, it is very important to follow the things which have been mentioned in this video. And with that, let's close this video. If you are watching until this very end, make sure you like this video and also subscribe to our channel. And also comment down in the comment section if you have any further doubts, suggestions, feedbacks or anything, you can comment down in the comment section. And as we are discussing about computer science, if you are really passionate about computer science, then I would also suggest you to check out Taylor School of Technology, which is a place to be if you are really passionate about computer science uh, and also if you want to discuss with your senior Lavanya or any other topper rankers, I will link a telegram group in the description. You can go and join that group. Along with that, I will also link the LinkedIn account of Lavanya so that you can go and directly DM him. And with that, all the best for your examination. Thanks for watching.